Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we will be adding the third person controller. For the third person controller what we will be needing is the animations and the third person controller. So I will be providing both of these things but first let me tell you where I get these things from. So the animation are from Miximo.com website which is this website okay and the character is from the sketchfab website so if i show you this is the character which i have used in this game okay this is the character this is the creator name and this character is free to download and free to use in any of your project if you click on download as you can see uh, this is the license of this which uh, said that author must be credited and commercial use is allowed so i have credited the author of this asset and now I can use it and in the same way you guys can use it as well for example if you are creating any game or using this asset then make sure that you credit this author okay by copying or pasting this link and telling in a documentation that the player character is from a third person uh, website or anything and then you can just credit this whole uh, profile of the author or uh, using the link okay that is up to you okay all right so you can download the character from here and then you will have to upload that character right here okay and also you will have to set up the materials for the character because when you download this character the materials will be messed up okay and also the character size and also the character will not have any rig because this character is not rigged okay so for rigging you will have to upload your character to this website and then you can follow the steps on this website on how to rig it it is pretty simple okay i will not be showing that because i have already rigged the character and set up all of the materials on the character okay and also i have downloaded all of the required animations for this character okay which is available in these two folders so you can just go ahead and get it from here all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just drag and drop these two folders inside my project Okay, right here in the assets folder I will drag and drop it as you can see it is importing if you check the animations this is the carry animations as you can see and also all of these animations are set to loop time loop pose the uh, root transform rotation is baked into pose and original and the same for the root transform position Y and X and Z Alright, so make sure that if you are using some other animations, make sure that you do all of these settings, okay? And then this is the locomotions animations, and then this is the gun animations and the rifle animations, alright? And then if you click the player character folder in the source folder, you will find the rigged model right here, okay? Which I have rigged using Miximo.com website, and this is the character which I have got from the sketchfab okay from this website okay this character I have set up uh, the materials on it because if you check out the textures as you can see in the textures I have all of these materials set up okay I have applied the texture to all of the materials okay and for rigging as I told you I have used Miximo.com website and let me show you how I rigged it so if I open up Miximo.com website okay and then click on upload character and then in this upload character you can drag and drop this character which is not rigged okay and when you drag and drop it it will now take a few seconds to upload the character now as you can see this is the character right here okay you can click next and then for the chin you can add chin right there for the wrist you can add the wrist position for the actually the wrist is right here and then for the elbows you can add that then this is the knees so you can add it somewhere right here and then this is the groin or groin I don't know how to pronounce that but I'm gonna leave this in that position and then I will just simply click next and auto rigging will be start 
okay and as you can see it tells us that our auto rigging algorithm can take up to two minutes so let's just wait for it now as you can see our character is ready we can click next and then next and our character will be uploaded right here okay so now before applying any animations first of all you will have to download this whole character okay so just simply click on download click on original post and fbx for unity okay and i will not be downloading it because as i told you i have already provided you the downloaded character right here okay which is this one okay so once you download it then select that character click on its rig change it to humanoid and the avatar definition should be changed to create from this model okay and then it will be ready to use okay and then if you don't want to use these animations and want to use your own animations or any other animation from the miximo.com website then you can upload your character just as we did right here okay and then select that animation okay you can change these reaction things according to your own liking and then just simply click on download click on without skin and then fpx for unity and then just simply click on download okay if you want to use other animations but as i told you i already have the character set up and the animations already downloaded so we don't have to do all of this okay so now once all of this is done okay you can go inside the source and select this character which is right here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move the main camera to this position for example right here and when you do that then you can move down and drag and drop this character in there move the camera down below as you can see this is the character which is really small so we have to change the character size so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the character size to let's just say 1.3 click apply okay select that character and change its size and if you notice it it is still really small and i will tell you how you can resize it correctly just move your character to for example this position and as you can see the character is really small so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the character fpx file and right here let's just type 2 okay and i think this will be a good size but I'm gonna just change it to 2.2 .2. click apply okay and I think 2.2 .2 will be a really good size for this character okay let me select the camera and make the rotation zero on it so that the camera is perfectly aligned in this straight direction okay so now this is our character as you can see the character size is perfectly fine okay and the other way you can check the character height is move the character to this door right here okay And as you can see, the character is still really small according with the tour. So you can then increase the player size even more to 3 for example. And I think 3 will be now a really good size for this character. That's it. Okay, move the character to the ground like this select the camera again move the camera right here and that will be it okay if you select the character the avatar and everything is added automatically because we change the rig to humanoid and create an avatar for it okay and now if we select the animations any of the animation and drag and drop this character in there as you can see this character will play that animation perfectly fine as you can see Okay, now we need to add the 
uh, materials so for the materials I'm gonna go inside texture and as you can see this is the left eye so the player left eye is that one then the right eye then we have the face all right then we have the gloves then this is the hands so try and drop that in there then we have the jacket then this is the lash lashes okay you can just move there and try and drop this lashes right there okay all right then we have the shirt so try and drop that in there then we have the shirt mat so i don't know these two are similar so i'm gonna just try and drop it in there then we have the tie okay and i think the next uh, this shirt is for this position okay so make sure that you add it in there then after the tie you can try and drop the trouser material like that and our character is all set up as you can see okay if you select the animations in the animations the character material are also added and they are looking perfectly fine so once the player is set up then you can click on prefab click on unpack completely and let's name this as player now okay and when you name it players that will be it then the next step which we are gonna do is in the assets folder create a new folder by the name of game and inside this game folder drag and drop the player character animations and the sun temple all right now our environment and everything is ready and set up correctly so now in the next video we will be adding the player movement okay so see you guys in the next one